Prince Charles will have to keep fairly quiet about passion project to succeed as king. Prince Charles will have to keep fairly quiet about his passion for protecting the environment in order to succeed as king, former politician Nigel Farage claims. As the current reigning monarch's eldest son, Prince Charles is next in line of succession. Speaking on Fox Business, former Brexit Party leader Nigel Farage discussed the future king and how if he wants to succeed in his still pending role, he will have to keep fairly quiet about his passion project as Charles does get too political at times. Fox Business host Stuart Varney asked, what do the Brits think of the incoming King Charles, as he will be? Mr. Farage replied, well, he played the role perfectly representing the Queen at this year's state opening of Parliament. He read the speech, he didn't intervene. He added, my problem with Charles, I've met him many times over the years, and the country's problem with him, is that he gets a bit too political. The whole point of the monarchy is that it's supposed to stay above politics. Mr. Farage added, his global warming agenda unless he wants to alienate a large chunk of the country, he's going to have to keep fairly quiet about that. Speaking about Charles following the Queen, Mr. Farage said, it's a very tough act to follow. She's the Queen been utterly brilliant, the most respected figure in the world. He concluded by stating that it will be a tough act for Charles to follow. When Charles becomes King, he is likely to be known as King Charles III. Prince Charles is believed to desire a more slimmed-down monarchy when he takes the throne. Speaking previously to US Weekly, royal expert Jonathan Sacerdoti said, it's always been rumored that he wants to slim down the working royals at the core of the family. He is the longest-serving Prince of Wales in history and has spent his entire adult life supporting the Queen. As part of celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Charles and Camilla visited Canada this week. The itinerary for the three-day tour included stops in Newfoundland and Labrador, the National Capital Region, and the Northwest Territories. The Canadian Royal Tour was Charles's 19th time visiting the country. It was Camilla's fifth time in Canada. It's always been rumored that he wants to slim down the working royals at the core of the family. He is the longest serving Prince of Wales in history and has spent his entire adult life supporting the Queen. As part of celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Charles and Camilla visited Canada this week. The itinerary for the three-day tour included stops in Newfoundland and Labrador, the National Capital Region, and the Northwest Territories. The Canadian Royal Tour was Charles's 19th time visiting the country. It was Camilla's fifth time in Canada. <laughs> 